This is wild because I have AutoGPT running right now and it is finding me profitable trading strategies. All I did was instruct it to go find profitable trading strategies and then output them into a PDF once there's 10 of them. And I actually asked AI how to do this. So if you can see here on the right side of my screen, I used Lexi in order to uh, get some prompts here. So if we scroll up, we did some other stuff later, but I'll show you that in a second. But I essentially asked Lexi, I said, hey, you're the best prompter in the world for AutoGBT, which is an LLM model that works with agents to get solutions. Give me five prompts I can put into AutoGBT to direct it well. And then I said, give me five goals to give to AutoGBT that will produce the best trading strategies that I can trade with. I'm looking for the absolute best trading strategies. I would like AutoGBT to output them into a PDF so I can start reading and running them. And then it had it outputted these five, um, these five things I could put in to direct it. Five prompts, sorry, brain fart. But it gave me these five prompts to put in. I put in four of them, and then the last one I said output as a PDF. And I just wanted to show you that, so you, if you set this up on your own, you can see it. But you can see it's researching all these papers. You can see it's researching this sharp ratio. Um, quantified strategies, what is sharp ratio, um, the art of controlling drawdown, Forex trading. So it's studying for me, which is awesome because I can code while it does that, or I can do something else. You can see it's appending to a file some of the good strategies already. So my thesis is this just came out a month ago, right? So if we can be the best in the world at this and we just work at it every day, and as you see on my YouTube channel, I work at it every single day. Uh, I'm going to be the best in the world and I invite you to be the second best. Come with me. So I put all these videos here just so you can see it because it does cost some money. I've already shown my costs here a few times on this channel for running GPT-4 with AutoGPT. I've also shown how to set this up in case you don't know how to. Just go check out the video that says AutoGPT guide. Um, and I want to show you this run for a while. And while it runs, you know, the only way I can really make content as an algo trader is showing you exactly what I'm doing in the day. So it's great because that gives you really authentic content. Um, that being said, I'm going to jump into some coding. We're working on something here on Hyperliquid, which is a new crypto exchange that I'm getting connected to. And I was just working on this uh, problem and I'm going to keep working on it while AutoGPT runs here in the bottom right corner. Feel free to watch either side, um, but it's going to keep running and you can see it. Um, churning through my cash in order to find good trading strategies and i'm going to let that run until it's done and i'm going to work on this a little bit and what were we working on we were trying to get the the events i have everything that's happened on my account so in order to do that i need to just follow these documentations and it's a little difficult but you know everything in life is difficult so Boohoo, poor me. This is hard, but you know, algo trading is is uh, supposed to be hard, <laughs> you know. So let's go ahead and try this out. I try to make it as easy as possible for you, though. So it's um, hopefully a lot easier because I show everything here on this channel. So info.subscribe, I don't think this is going to work because info is not there. Self.user events, subscribe is not there. So they just set this up way differently than I do. That's the thing. Makes it a little hard to follow their docs, I would say. Because it's, um, it's just set up differently. But that's fine. We'll figure it out. Self.info to subscribe. Okay. Subscription. Subscribe. You can see AutoGPT is down here. Profitable strategies. It's building a profitable strategy text file. And it has, it's, I think it's on its third one. It's looking for ways to enhance the sharp ratio, which I like to see. And this is great because every day I can just let this run, spend a bunch of money on letting it run, but it's that or pay somebody else to find strategies, right? So. I think I'm gonna, let's see here. Maybe this will give us some more information. Type, okay. 
Maybe we can go to the definition. To do handle other types of user events. Channel. Literal. So I guess this is all their code. L2. Oh, this is actually helpful. Essentially what I'm looking for is past trades. So I'm trying to find a way to find those because that's pretty important to know in algo trading. You can see that auto GBT finished up here. It's not done. I don't think it's still going. It's asking for more spins. So I'm going to give it 20 times this time. Give it 20 times to try to finish up here. But it's pretty cool because I'm being able to code here on the left side while it's like doing a bunch of research for me and it's done coding for me. It can do anything pretty crazy. So user events, user wallet address, self dot user events, classic basic adder, classes basic adder. How do we call this is my question. So I can't do that. Print user data on user events. Say on user events, on user events, user event message. Let's run that. Okay, we got something. It didn't break. That's at least nice. Print user events data. So it's not subscriptable and user events prints now at least. So it's a class. So that's cool. We got a little further. Um, let's go to here and user events self on user event. And let's go to the other one. User events data. This is where I'm confused is because it's, it says it's not subscriptable up here, but then here it shows user events data, you know, so right here. So, and it prints user events. The only thing I don't have is the self in there, but I don't understand why that would change things. Maybe I do need to pass in my key or something. Key. Um, I'll pass it in right here. Let's run it one more time. See if it works itself out. Same thing. Okay, so I'm actually lost on this one. I'm stuck on this one, I would say. So since I'm stuck, holler at me if you know how to do this. Uh, I, I don't assume many people know how to do this since this is a brand new exchange, but um, I think I'm gonna move on to the next thing I have on my to-do list. So let's get back to this. Uh, this one is, you know, it's taken me probably 30 minutes so far, so I don't wanna spend too much more time on it. Uh, we wanna be able to pass in an indicator if, the buy one, if we wanna buy or sell. So how could we do that? I think we'd have to make a five, nine or let's do it. Yeah. Five, nine indicator indie hyper indie hyper indie dot P Y. And then this file here, this file will be where we can put the indicators of a strat and then the hyperbot will use it to be buying 
or selling. So for now, we'll just say um, def indicator, and then we'll say return. Well, let's say uh, signal equals. Well, let's say <laughs> sorry, long equals true. and then return long. Super simple. And we can put out, put out the whole strategy. I'll be able to write it in here. But the, the thing that I want to do is just be able to do that and be able to call this. So let's go ahead and be able to see if we can call this in. So five nine hyper and import from hyper uh, five nine hyper indie. Oh snap! Hyper indie five nine import. I have to. I can't start it with the uh, numbers. Hyper indie. Five nine import what? Dang, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to do this. Rename five nine hyper with indie, and then this will be hyper indie five nine. So let's do that. You can see Auto GPT is still thinking. Five nine, okay, and from hyper indie five nine, we'll pass an indicator. Import indicator, okay, and then let's make this indicator a little better. So, let's say pass in. Buy. I'm trying to think how we would do this actually. So we would write the strategy here and then we would output long equals true, false, or none. So true equals long ASAP, false equals short ASAP, and none equals do nothing. Okay, so now we have that, we can put the strategy here. So strat goes here. And the idea here is these strategies that AutoGPT is creating for us, we'll build them into this file here, and then it'll tell us to go long or short or nothing. So let's just do two plus two. No, that's not a good way to do it. If mm, I think we just return long for now because I have to write out the strategy, right? I can't just make some random thing up right now. And I don't want to do that either because it's just a waste of time. And that's like part of coding is don't waste your time. So return long, I'm going to essentially say, and long equals true for now, but later I can say like if, here, we'll just do this. If one is greater than three, return, uh, not return, then long equals true. LF, if one is smaller than four, then long equals false, and then else long equals none. Perfect. So that's our strategy for now. I mean, it's not a real strategy, of course, but I just wanted to get it set up. We'll put the actual strategy in here. And then I just want to see how to implement this into the actual bot. So let's 
we'll go ahead here since we already have these long onlys and short only if indicator equals let's actually print indicator first I want to see what it prints it should print a something but I think I'm calling it wrong to be honest Okay, so it's a function. Um, let's just ask Luxie real quick. I'm just having a brain fart. How would I import this function from this file into another file and then use it? the file i okay let's just say that i love ai because you don't even have to think to import the indicator save the function file dot py already did that um so from my strategy import indicator okay signals equals indicator got it got it got it so let's go back to that and let's just say signals signal equals indicator and then we run that I'm just I f like sometimes I think I blaze too much and <laughs> my brain goes brain goes dumb because I've done that a million times but anyways if signal equals if mm, long if long equals equals true then long only is true if long equals false lf long equals false then short only equals true and then else it should capture everything else then long only equals false and short only equals false so this is like a market maker kind of it's just uh, it's something that trades a lot it's not really a market maker it's more of like a supply and demand zone bot so essentially we can have an indicator now and it will then tell us if the indicator says long like for example i have a ton of strategies i've shown on this this um, channel. If the indicator says long, then it's going to set our supply and demand zone bot to long only. So it's going to be buying one minute demand zones. If it says short, then it's going to be shorting only. But if it doesn't say either, if it says none, then it's going to just kind of do both. So let's print long print long only short only and then let's do a time dot sleep here time dot sleep of a bunch of time here and I just want to see if this works Okay, I see what's going on. I did not, um, I need to set both of these. So this would be long only, it would be false. And this would be short only, only equals false, right? Because if long only is true, then short only is false. And if short only is true, then long only is false. Perfect. So print long is false. And let's just go double check that to see because we made a really simple strategy. And that strategy is is one over bigger than three. No, it's not one is smaller than three. So long is false. And then just to make sure double check it worked. We said long only. And since long only is false, if long equals false, then short should be true, which it is and long should be false. Super sick. 
I love this. Um, now we just need to build in the strategy. So I think I'm going to build out that strategy here. Um, oh, it looks like we timed out here. Looks got it got stuck. So I haven't seen that in a while. So Python dash M auto GPT. And we'll just start it back up because this was really working on something cool. If you want to see the rest of this, make sure to be subscribed because uh, you know, I, I run this and I spend my own money on this 24 seven and it builds really cool stuff. And then I just try to show it all here so you can get as much out of it as possible. So how do we want to go ahead and implement the strategy now is the question. I'm going to go back here. Now we know this works. And let's just set long to none for now equals none. And then let's run it again just to make sure it works because we have to go now and implement a strategy into this false, false. Perfect. So this works well. And I'm going to put like a mark here. copy and I'm just going to say working on this here working working on this section to be able to put a strat in the other file and it already calls it below correct just need to put the strat in now Okay, and then we will, uh, let's see here. I'm gonna put this, this is almost done. We just need to put the strat in. This is done. Done, just need the strat in the other file now. And we have auto GPT here. I'm gonna give it uh, 10 runs, but there's already a strategy in this file. Like we've already gone over. It's a supply and demand zone strategy. I just want to improve it. So I'll build out another strategy in this strat file. And now this supply and demand zone bot can be more like our entry bot. So it's while it's trying to go 